Hot off the presses is a brand new cost of living report showing the most and least expensive cities around the world. I'm going to share with you how you can lower your cost of living in these inflationary times and lower your tax bill in the process. <music> This is the new report from Numbio.com. It's the cost of living index by city, mid-year 2022. And we're gonna go through this all the way from number one to number 510, the most expensive city in the world, Hamilton and Bermuda, no doubt an expensive place. The least expensive place in the world, Peshawar, Pakistan. Don't worry, we're gonna find places that you might be more likely to want to move to uh, that are almost as affordable as Pakistan. Now, if it's your first time here, I'm Andrew Henderson. I'm the founder of Nomad Capitalist. We're a boutique consulting firm that helps seven and eight figure entrepreneurs and investors legally reduce their taxes, diversify and protect their assets, obtain multiple citizenships, and build freedom for themselves and their families and their companies all around the world because the world is crazy right now, but there are still plenty of countries that would love to have you and your business because they're trying to grow, even if your country isn't. I also host the biggest and best offshore conference called Nomad Capitalist Live. And my personal life philosophy has been, if I can live in a more affordable place that offers me more personal freedom, that offers me potentially better social opportunities, that offers me the opportunity to see how the world is evolving on a business level, as a lifelong entrepreneur, I love going to places and seeing the business opportunities, and there's a lot more in places that have some more room to develop. If I can do all that and I can save money and I can get a different outlook on the world and oh, by the way, I can reduce my tax bill living in a country with lower taxes, that's all worth it. It's how I live and I've talked about this in a separate episode on about 5% of my income and uh, I'm a big believer in that and being able to give back and save and uh, create generational wealth. So number one on the list is Hamilton, Bermuda and basically what they did was they put New York City as like the the uh, the comparison point. So New York City is 100 in the cost of living index and New York City is ranked number 10. So there's nine cities in their index which are more expensive. Uh, their entire formula is based on uh, rent and then they do, they have the rent index, they have a cost of living plus rent index, rent index, they have a groceries index, restaurant price index, local purchasing power index. You can separate those all out. I'm just going through the kind of local uh, cost of living index overall. And so they have New York as number 10, Santa Barbara, Honolulu, Geneva and Bern and Lausanne and Zug and Zurich, Switzerland and Basel, Switzerland, all more expensive as was Hamilton, uh, Bermuda. So those are some of the most expensive places in the world. Now, let me just draw your comparison to Geneva at basically 103 versus New York at 100. If you're someone who could afford to live in Manhattan, for example, and let's say you make $10 million a year, you're gonna pay well over $5 million if the average entrepreneur, the average business owner uh, in Manhattan. And you're gonna pay a fortune in property taxes, you're gonna have people throwing tomatoes at your windows or whatever it is they're doing there now uh, in New York because you're rich. Uh, you could move for a scant 3% increase in your cost of living to Geneva. And okay, if you're a US citizen, there's some, you need to do some tax planning because US citizens pay tax no matter where they live. But um, you could dramatically reduce your taxes and you could pay a flat, basically a lump sum tax in Switzerland and live there for let's say several hundred thousand dollars per year depending on your lifestyle and you could dramatically reduce your tax bill. If you're coming from anywhere other than the United States, let's say you're coming from uh, uh, Oslo, Norway, uh, you could increase your cost of living by just a little bit. Oslo, Norway is at 90 basically in the index. So you increase your cost of living 13, 14% and you live in Geneva and you have dramatically reduced your tax. Obviously Norway also has some restrictions for a couple of years, but uh, anyway. The point is, for not a lot more money, you'd have the same quality of life. Nobody would argue that living in Geneva is uh, unsafe or is unsophisticated or any of the sort, but you can raise your cost of living by just a wee little bit and you can cut your tax bill dramatically. Let's go through the rest of the list and point out some places that are uh, of interest to me. So you've got a lot of places in the United States that kind of come in high in the rankings. Uh, Europe really doesn't uh, come in as much. I mean, for example, Copenhagen, 76.68. Uh, obviously not a place to lower your taxes, but the fact that New York is that much more expensive than Copenhagen, I've been to Copenhagen, it's extremely expensive uh, in Copenhagen. And so even in places in Europe, you're getting a better deal than the United States. And so if you feel like you'd have more personal freedom in Europe, I know a number of Americans are feeling that way right now, uh, then why not move? Lower your cost of living, lower your tax bill. You probably won't really lower your quality of life. Um, and so we can start to get into like Hong Kong, for example, 76.55 ranks at number 49. People don't really want to move to Hong Kong so much anymore, but again, dramatically lower tax bill for a lower cost of living. Uh, let's get into some of the places uh, that we talk about, for example. So you can go to Tbilisi, Georgia. They're ranked number 393. You're living for basically 37 cents on the dollar of what you'd live for 
uh, in New York. Merida, Mexico, one of the safest places in Mexico, basically the same, 36.71 cents on the dollar compared to New York. Tax-friendly Thailand, you want to go to Pattaya? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, 37 cents on the dollar. Um, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, harder to get a residence permit, but a place a lot of expats like going, 37.7 cents on the dollar. Uh, if you like the idea of Europe, Krakow, Poland, again, 37 cents on the dollar. We've talked about Ecuador as a more free place, potentially work towards a second citizenship very quickly. Uh, very affordable place to go. You can buy some of the cheapest land in Latin America, 37.7 cents on the dollar. Mexico City, the same, place that a lot of Americans and others have been going during the last couple of years, basically 38 cents on the dollar, and uh, I think a very vibrant place to me. Uh, all the benefits of a New York City, quite frankly, you have the art, you have the culture, you have much better food, you have good food, you have Michelin star, you have street food, you have whatever you want, just as in New York City, better weather, 38 cents on the dollar. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where I have a home, number 377, 38 cents on the dollar. How do you like to live in Cancun? You think Cancun's expensive? You can go to Mexico, easy enough to get a residence permit, just show your income. If you can live in one of these expensive places, you have enough income to get a residence permit in Mexico, 38 cents on the dollar. Uh, we're seeing other places in like Ecuador, 38 cents. Tirana, Albania, 38 cents. So these are the kind of places that we talk about. Bali, Indonesia, 39 cents. They're rolling out, they're talking about a new five-year digital nomad visa that will, no taxes to be paid, no income taxes, go there for up to five years, and you can live for 39 cents of the dollar. Great weather. If you like those vibes and uh, you want to save some tax, you can go and take advantage. Belgrade, Serbia, 39 cents in the dollar. How about Croatia? A lot of people going into Croatia and they're going on cruises to become on the radar with Game of Thrones and all that. 39 cents of the dollar for some of the cities in uh, Croatia. And so basically this kind of range, you know, 35 to 40 cents of the dollar, you get a lot of places. You're getting places in, in um, Chile. You're getting places in Eastern Europe, both Northern, you know, like Lithuania, and Southern, like Serbia, uh, Albania, etc. Uh, you're getting places in Portugal, not the big cities, but Coimbra, Boraga up in the north, 41 cents on the dollar. And so if you want a smaller town living in Portugal, get a golden visa, get a self-sufficient visa, go and live there, take advantage of a 10-year tax exemption. You can dramatically reduce your taxes in that city. You want uh, to live in Yerevan, where a lot of IT firms are going. You want to outsource IT work, you can get a residence permit there. 40 cents on the dollar to live in Yerevan. And you, can, you kind of just keep going up. So basically, for sure, here's Lisbon, 45 cents on the dollar. Um, you know, people are talking about El Salvador, 45 cents on the dollar in San Salvador. And so you can even get up into some places that, you know, are not entirely cheap. You know, Kuwait City, one of the, okay, not a very exciting place to live, but certainly an extremely safe place to live. 46 cents on the dollar. Bangkok is 46 cents on the dollar. You see places like Ajman in the UAE. If you want to be outside of Dubai, they're the same. So uh, you can live a lot of places for 50 cents on the dollar. Even Dubai, 62 cents on the dollar to New York City. And so if you're coming um, from New York, how about you trade in 50% taxes for, depending on how you structure it, zero or something a lot, lot, lot lower than 50%. You live in Dubai, you save 38 cents on every dollar you spend. Um, if you're an investor, you'd be treated a lot better. Uh, you're not going to be subject to all the nonsense they're doing in New York. And so basically, lower cost of living, lower tax, better weather. You can just go up and down the list with all the different places. Uh, Italy has a tax incentive. I'm seeing you know, cities in Italy, 63 cents, 57 cents. Here's Florence, 63 cents. Austria, 63 cents. Not necessarily a tax uh, incentive place. Lots of cities in the UK, including Oxford, 64 cents. Manchester, 64 cents. Uh, Bristol, same area. These places are all cheaper. Liverpool, 64 cents. It's okay. Now we're back up to like Mesa, Arizona levels. I know Mesa, Arizona. Uh, I think I'd probably rather live in Oxford or in Dubai than Mesa, Arizona. God bless all you. Um, but okay, now we're getting to the point where some of the cheaper European cities come into play. But the point is you can live for 35 to 50 cents on the dollar. You can dramatically reduce your taxes to zero, to five, to 10%. Keep more of your own money and potentially have better weather. You want to go even lower? How about Cali, Colombia? 25 cents on the dollar. Uh, not my favorite place in Colombia. I have some good friends there. Uh, Bogota, Colombia, 27 cents on the dollar. Uh, Medellin, Colombia, 28 cents almost on the dollar. Turkey has a citizenship by investment program, not tax friendly. Uh, but if you want to live there, get yourself citizenship. Live for 28 cents on the dollar in Ankara and uh, Istanbul was uh, right around here. Izmir also pretty similar. Uh, places that people don't think about, you know, like Tunis, Tunisia, 
Probably not for most folks, but uh, interesting. So the bottom line is, what's, what's the cheapest place on here? Uh, Pakistan basically takes the, the bottom uh, eight spots. Bukaramanga, Colombia. I know some folks from Bukaramanga. 22 cents on the dollar. Probably not for most expats. You could probably spend an extra five cents. But the point is, uh, outside of India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Colombia, Colombia uh, comes in. It's like the one ranking in the bottom uh, 20, and then Kali, Colombia. So, um, how do you like to live on the beach in Barranquilla? 26 cents on the dollar. Cartagena, I saw right up here, uh, was pretty similar, probably a little bit nicer. If you could dramatically lower your cost of living in, in these inflationary times, if you have a job and you can work anywhere, it gives you a lot more money to spend. You can live like a king or a queen in some of these places. And by the way, plenty of these places are, are safe. You can find personal safety either in neighborhoods or they're much safer than where you're living now. If you have you know, freelance work, you can get a freelance visa, digital nomad visa, self-sufficient visa, work there. Again, save a bunch of your income, put more of it to whatever is important to you. If you have a business, you can invest more back into your business with lower taxes, lower cost of living, maybe you hire some people in these places or nearby, or you get more of a global perspective, you grow your business. I think your business will grow, you have a lot more money from it. And if you're an investor, you can lower the taxes and have more money to invest. Because we know that a penny doubled every day, you know that old story, it becomes multi-million dollars after just a month where you just double every day. Once you take out taxes, it dwindles to like tens of thousands. So the difference in having more money to invest back into your business, whether it's through cost of living or the tax savings, is going to be dramatic. And so if you could go to any of these places, maybe you don't care about the tax savings. Maybe you just want to live for 29 cents in the dollar. Maybe you do care about the tax savings and you're saying, all right, I'll pay 39 cents in the dollar, but I'm also going to save that 39 cents to where now basically I'm living for free. Imagine having no expenses when it all comes out in the wash <laughs> compared to where you're living now. You can do that by taking advantage of these places in the world. It's really fun to read this whole index. We'll put a link in the description. Which of these 510 cities would you want to live in and why? Leave a comment below. I want to hear your thoughts.